so the next talk that we have is editing and optimizing Onyx models with DL Designer. This is from NVIDIA, and Gaoyan is going to be talking about that. This is a pre-recorded talk also. So, Hi, my name is Gao Yanxian. I'm a senior manager of the deep learning dev tools team at NVIDIA. Today, I'm going to share some exciting new features of Insight DL Designer that help developers edit and optimize Onyx models virally and conveniently. For people who are not familiar with Insight DL Designer, let me briefly introduce what it is. In its simplest form, DL Designer is a GUI-based computation graph builder. It aims at streamlining the end-to-end -end process of deep neural network development by providing support to all development stages. Its graphical user interface allows developers to quickly create a deep neural network model in a drag and drop fashion. When running on a NVIDIA GPU, it can collect detailed performance profile data using G GPU metrics. DL Designer also allows developers to debug the inference process by virally analyzing intermediate ten, uh, feature maps. Training is not the focus of DL Designer, but it does provide two-way interop with training frameworks like PyTorch, so that a model created in DL Designer can be automatically exported to PyTorch for training. Currently, a model created in DL Designer can be deployed via Onyx, DirectML, and CUDA. We are also working on support of deployment via TensorRT. Since the release of DL Designer about two years ago, we've heard from users about the needs of tools support for Onyx models, and we started working on this about a year ago. Our work is still not finished. But as of now, DL Designer has become a full-fledged Onyx model editor that allows developers to virilize and edit existing Onyx models by deleting nodes, creating new nodes, modifying node parameters, and extracting subgraphs, etc. Of course, with DL Designer, you can create new Onyx models from scratch. Under the hood, DL Designer takes advantage of some existing NVIDIA Onyx utilities to do global modification of an Onyx model. For example, it uses polygraphy to do global tensor precision conversion. And we're also working on new features like model linting and int8 calibration, etc. Graph surging is used to do constant folding and unused nodes removal, etc. Currently, we are also working on performance profiling for Onyx models via Onyx Runtime and the TensorRT. Now, let me do a quick demo of what it looks like to edit an Onyx model with DL Designer. Most people would start with an existing Onyx model. Let's open an Onyx model for the Google Net. As you can see, DL Designer not only virilizes the model graph, it can also display the intermediate tensor sizes that are obtained via the shape inference capability of a polygraphy. You can click on any operator node to view its parameters in the parameters panel, and you can freely edit all the parameters. For instance, I'm going to change the shape for the kernel for this convolution operator from three by three to one by one. After the change, our automatic type checker will run and update the intermediate tensor size. You can also easily view all the initializers associated with each operator. For example, um, this, op this convolution operator has two initializers for its weights and the bias, respectively. Click on the plus button to preview the tensor for the 
weights. You can also bring up a separate window to edit the tensors for this initializer. As I mentioned earlier, DL Designer allows you to freely delete and create uh, new nodes. For example, I'm going to replace this ReLU operator with the leaky ReLU. So I just uh, delete this node from the graph and then find the leaky ReLU operator from this list of operators. I just drag and drop this operator to the canvas and then connect its input and output terminals. Here we go. Now, besides these local editing, DL Designer also allows you to make changes to a model globally. We currently have two uh, global model modification options. One is to convert um, all the tensor precision from float to float 16. The other is to sanitize a model graph by removing unused nodes and the uh, fold constants nodes. Um, let's take a look. Just click on the button. Oh, oops, I have to save uh, the model before I do any of these global modifications. So I just save it. Now I specify the output file name. So here, let's just name it net fp16 save click finish then wait a few seconds now we are done let's uh, open the converted model file select the same uh, convolution node, uh, bring up uh, the initializer for the weights. Now, as you can see, the tensor type has been changed from float to float 16. Okay, let's go back to the original model. Let's try the model sanitization feature. Again, just click this button, specify the output file path, Um, you can enable constant folding and specify the threshold um, um, and number of passes for constant folding. I'll just leave them at default. Click finish. Now wait a few seconds. Now it's done. Um, you can click on the details triangle to view the details. This is, as you can see, this is already a pretty um, clean model. So we have zero nodes uh, folded. Okay, we are always looking for partners who can help us make DL Designer a better tool for everyone. If you work with Onyx models, and if you find the Onyx editing features of DL Designer useful to your work, we would love you to give it a try. So please reach out to us for early access. And by either sending an email to me at gxie at nvidia.com or insight-dl-feedback at nvidia.com. Thank you. Thanks, Guyan. I believe Guyan is online. So if you have any questions, you can ask and uh, he can unmute and answer questions. Okay, so the question is sometimes conversion to FP16 leads to accuracy issues and can DL Designer help with that or identify which node 
result uh, causes the accuracy problems. Um, we we currently rely on the underlying polygraphy uh, library to do the conversion. So I would have to check uh, whether the polygraphy is able to provide uh, us uh, uh, with that information and get back to you. Any more questions? I have one. Question is: Is the tool open source or uh, is it not? Uh, uh, no, uh, the tool uh, at the moment is not open uh, open source, but it's uh, it's a free. I mean, we don't charge you a penny. So if you want to give it a try, just just as I said, send us an email and uh, we will get you um, access to the build. And also polygraphy and onyx graph surgeon that it uses behind the scenes, they are open source Python tools that you can find on the Tensorati GitHub site. Yeah. Uh, is there a way to specify the offset? Uh, for onyx export? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, any more questions, anyone? Any questions on the bridge? Okay. Thanks, Gayan. On to our next one.